Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to solve lead code problem 2150. Find all lonely numbers in the array. Before we start looking into the problem details, some examples related to this problem and uh, two different approaches to solve this problem. I want to mention that my channel is dedicated to help people in their Java and coding interviews. On my channel, you will find lots of helpful videos that can help you in your Java and interview coding preparation. You will find more than 350 different varieties of uh, coding problems solved and explained using whiteboarding sessions uh, for your easier understanding. Those are the coding problems which are taken from previously asked coding interview questions by big tech companies like Google, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Yahoo and many other big financial clients and those constitute very important coding questions varieties such as BFS, DFS, matrix problems, graph problems, binary search tree related coding questions, coding questions related to strings, linked list, optimization problems using priority queue and lots of logical questions uh, that can help you in your Java and coding interview preparation. So uh, please subscribe to this channel now. So let's first look into the problem statement and then we'll understand the problem better on the whiteboard uh, session and we will also discuss the two approaches using which we can solve this problem. Uh, you are given an integer array nums. A number x is lonely when it appears only once and no adjacent numbers that is x plus 1 and x minus 1 appear in the array. So basically, for example, uh, let's just uh, what they are saying is we have number like this, let's say in the array, right? 5, 6, 7, right? So these are not lonely numbers, right? Because for example, 6 is not lonely because it has a 5, which is a, a previous element, pre previous number than 6 is available. Uh, for 7, 7 is also not lonely because 7 has a previous element, 6 is available here, right? because uh, also 5 is also not lonely because 5's next element is available into the array right but if array has let's say another number called as 10 then 10 is a lonely number because we don't have a uh, 9 and 11 available into this array right so 10 is a lonely number correct so that's what the lonely number is so let's go back here so we have to return all lonely numbers in the nums array. You may return the answer in any order. So order is not important. We have to just return all the lonely numbers in the given array. So if you go down here, the constraints, the constraints are saying that the array will be maximum 10 raised to 5 is the size of the array, right? So array size can be very large as you can see it here. So it means that we have to devise our approach so that our approach should not give a, give us time limit exceeding error right so it should work with uh, this kind of big arrays and the number in the array can also be very big right as it's given here so they have given given us one simple uh, first example so as you can see in this first example these five and six numbers right they, those are not lonely numbers because if we consider five the next six is available if we consider six the previous numbers five is available right so those are not lonely numbers but 10 and 8 are lonely numbers here right so we have to just output 10 and 8 into our result right so uh, let's take one big example on this whiteboard here so this is the array uh, that i created for the explanation uh, so this first approach that we are going to discuss here is array sorting based approach right so first what we will do is this is the given array we will sort this array right so this is the sorted array these are total seven different numbers so what we will do is uh, basic our basic approach uh, that we are going to take is we are going to take one number and we will take we will uh, check its left and right number for example if we are taking this 11 we will check its left number and its right number right so if uh, left number is one less than that number or right number is one greater than that number then that is not a lonely number for example 11 here is not a lonely number right so we will check previous element and next element right so now there is an exception for this uh, why because first element 
is the exception and last number is a exception because the first element does not have a previous number right and last number does not have a next number so those are two exceptions that we have to handle in this case so for the first uh, number what we will check is the next number like second number is it one greater than this first number yes right five and then six so five is not a lonely number so we will not add five into our answer list right now when we check 14 then we will check the previous number so 14 so this is not 13 right so 14 is a lonely number so we will add 14 into our result array right because 14 is a lonely number so now we have handled the cases of the first and last element in the given array right so now we have to go through our regular approach where for all other numbers we have previous and next number available here right so we will go one by one for six we will check previous number and next number so anything if um, previous number is one less or the next number is one greater in, in in any of these cases the six will not be a lonely number so now six is here so previous number is 5 so 6 is not a lonely number right because 5 is there so he is not a lonely number now for 8 we will check this 2 right so this is not 1 less right this is not 7 and the next number is not 9 right so which means that 8 is a lonely number correct so 8 is a lonely number so we will add the 8 into our answer list after that we will keep going with these numbers so 10 means 10 is uh, not a lonely number because 10 has next number 11 available right so 10 is not lonely number so we will not add it into our list 11 is a lonely number because past is 10 and next is also 12 so 11 is not a lonely number 12 is also not a lonely number because past number is like the previous number is 11 so 12 is also not a lonely number 14 we already checked so 8 and 14 are the lonely numbers so this is the approach which is based on array based sorting right and this is uh, performance wise also pretty uh, fast the sorting will take n log n but apart from that we are not using any different space or anything right so uh, sorting uh, we are just using so we can just use arrays.sort method in the java so we just have to pass the uh, array into the arrays.sort method and it will sort it based on the natural ordering so it will sort it like this basically this is the natural sorti sorting order right and then uh, the approach i just told you like uh, we will use it uh, for the array based sorting approach right so let's just first take a look at this solution of using array based sorting approach right and then we will go to the next approach which is based on map so this one is our uh, array based sorting right so first here i created a list of integer which is a resultant list that we will output at the end and then this is our nums array is given so if it is if we have only one element then we will just add that element right if we have just only one element and we'll just return it so this is one case we will handle here after that as i explained you we will use array sort method we'll just pass the array nums it will use the natural sorting order and it will give us a sorted array like this right and after that we will first take care of the first number right first number and we will take care of the last number so these are the two cases we have to handle so this is the taking care of the first number in the array right so how we are doing it nums of 1 minus nums of 0 if it is greater than 1 then we will add it to our result list right which means that this is not a lonely number so we will add it to result list uh, same thing we will do for the last number last number we are taking care here right so last number we are doing here so last number minus uh, previous to the last number right if it is greater than one it means that it is not a lonely number so we'll add it to the list here uh, the result list uh, right now in this for loop we are handling the remaining numbers remaining numbers which numbers these numbers right remaining numbers are these numbers which is not first and last number right so we'll go one by one we will keep checking if the uh, like previous number so nums of i plus 1 minus nums of i if it is greater than 1 and nums of i minus nums of i minus 1 is greater than 1 right so we are keep 
checking this is the previous number we are checking with and this is the next number we are checking with right if the difference is greater than 1 it means that um, this is not a like for both the cases right the both the cases means for example let's say if we are taking here right so both the cases means this left left and right right left and right so if difference is more than one here difference is two right eight and ten is also two so in that case it is this eight is a lonely number basically right so that's what we are checking here so that's what we are checking and then we will add it into our result list so this is the approach so let's just go ahead and uh, execute our code snippet and make sure this works and it gets accepted so this passes the test cases that's given uh, so let's just go ahead and submit this solution So as you can see the performance is very fast it is 99.66% faster uh, and it is uh, less than 96.5% on the memory usage because we are not using any external memory structure here right we are just sorting the same array so as you can see we are not using any external memory structure the sorting will take n log n time and this other part will take we are just going once through the whole array after sorting right so order of n basically so the more prominent factor will be n log n right which is for sorting basically so uh, this is a very fast solution so we have discussed one approach which is array based for this uh, and we solved the problem we got accepted on the lead code here now let's go ahead and let's take a look at the second approach that we have right so this is another example i'm taking so there are uh, six numbers here right that's given to us here we are going to use hash map based approach so uh, how this hash map based approach will work is we will go through this array once and we will create a frequency map right so each number appears how many times we will create so one appears once three appears two times five and seven and nine they all appear once here right so we will create a frequency map after that what we will do is uh, we will go through these keys right we will go through the keys of this map correct and we will check for example we will take the key one and we will check let's say we are checking one right we will check its previous number and next number right if anything is there in the map then we will just uh, that is not a lonely number right uh, so here 0 is not there 2 is also not there correct so it means that 1 is a lonely number right so let's just put 1 into our answer so let's create one answer map here answer list so 1 is into our answer right then we will go to 3 so if it's it's uh, frequency is more than one we will not add it into the map right because it should not be more than one as you can see it here it appears only once basically which means that it should have a frequency one so now it does not have a frequency one so we'll go to the next five so again for five we will check if it has a four and six available into the map right so four is not available six is not available so we will add five it's a lonely number so same thing appear uh, happens with say one and nine right so we will add say one and nine also into our lonely numbers answer right so these are the lonely numbers so this is our hash map based approach so um, uh, let's just take a look at the java code now so let me just copy the solution that i made for that uh, so this is our hash map based solution so let me just paste our hash map based solution here so let me just do the identification little bit here uh, so yeah let's go line by line so first we are creating a hash map here which is a frequency map we will go through the nums array here and we will create the frequency map here right after that we have uh, defined a array list here and we will go through the nums array here in the for loop right in this for loop we'll go through the nums array and we will keep checking each number if it's it, its frequency is one and it does not have the next number or the previous number into the map right here checking next and previous number right then only we can say that it's a lonely number correct 
if that is the case we are just adding it into our answer list because if it its occurrence is only once and it does not have a previous number and next number into the map correct previous and next number because for example if we are checking for 5 we will check previous number which is 4 and next number is 6 so both should not be there into the map right otherwise it's not a lonely number so let's just go ahead and so the implementation is pretty simple uh, so here we just use the external now here we are using external uh, data structure map right so here uh, we are going through all the array so it is order of one uh, sorry order of n all we will go through all the n elements into the array uh, so let's just go ahead and execute this code snippet and make sure this works so our test cases got accepted we will just submit the solution so uh, our solution the second solution second approach based on hash map also got accepted it is 61 percent on the uh, performance and 23 percent better than memory side because we are now using uh, external data structure which is a map right uh, so here uh, we are just going through all the array elements so this is order of n um, and the memory side also we are using map so we are putting all the n elements into the map so uh, on the memory usage is also, also order of n here because we are putting all the n numbers into the map so this is another approach to solve this problem um, lonely numbers in the array right so if you are new to my channel uh, there is a uh, dedicated playlist called as lead code and lint code solutions on my channel it has over uh, 200 different varieties of solved questions uh, from lead code and lint code and those are uh, coding questions which are asked by big tech companies like google facebook amazon apple microsoft yahoo and many other financial companies so uh, those questions are solved and explained using whiteboarding sessions for your easier understanding so you can easily understand and also with different approaches um, so um, it can be helpful for you in your uh, coding interview preparation if you like this video if you find this video helpful and if you like the way it's been created with whiteboarding sessions for your easier understanding examples and java solutions then please give it a like also subscribe to the channel your subscription to the channel is really important and helpful for the channel because that is the way the videos can reach to more people who need help in solving coding problems some problems find uh, some uh, people find it uh, difficult to solve different varieties of problems so uh, main goal of the channel is to help them in understanding the different problems and how they can approach these problems with different data structures using java and how they can use different data structures to solve different varieties of coding problems so they can also see these videos and get benefited uh, into their uh, interview preparation so if you like this video please subscribe it to the channel and give it a like also share this video with your friends and colleagues so they can also benefit by watching these videos on the channel and they can also uh, you know get help during their interview preparation I am going to put the Java solutions that we have seen both approaches on my GitHub account where you will find the Java solutions for uh, all the problems uh, for different uh, video questions. Uh, you can also uh, check it out from GitHub and play with the solutions with different unit test cases and see how, uh, different, how to use different data structures to solve different problems. And thanks for watching this video.